Hey guys, it's Adam from F150LEDs.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to install this Raptor grill kit on our Ford Maverick truck. The install is really easy and we're going to show you how it's done right now. Before we jump into it, please take a quick second to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps other Ford owners just like you find our content. Thanks, we really appreciate your support. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is mount our lights to the grill. We went ahead and mounted these two lights for the sake of time in this video, but we're going to go ahead and show you how we did that. So we're going to take our included adhesion promotion wipes and just open that up. We're going to want to wipe down the surface really well. That way it has a nice clean surface to stick to. Now with this kit, it's completely up to your preference on where you want to stick your lights. We decided to go to the middle three here on this grill. Um, you could spread them out if you'd like. Or you could even get, we have a four light option and a five light option that you could use five lights on each one of these sections right here. But we're gonna go ahead and just mount our last light right here. So to do so, we're gonna peel back this 3M auto grade adhesive from our light that we went ahead and stuck on there. And we're just gonna line it up, you know, in the center of this piece right here on the grill. And then you're gonna wanna press down with firm pressure for about 30 seconds. Make sure just it really adheres well. Like so. And now that we've done that, we're gonna take the connections from the back of our lights and connect them to the connections from our power harness. Now, once you do that, you're gonna hear a click and they'll click right into place. That's gonna fully seal these. They're gonna be completely waterproof. So it's gonna have really good connections so you won't have to worry about that. Do our last light here. Now that we've done that, we're ready to run our power and ground wire down to our front marker light for power. All right, to power this kit, we're gonna be using our front marker light that's located on the side of our truck. And to pop this housing out, we're going to take a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver and just get behind the housing and then push forward to the front of the truck. And there's a compression tab that'll pop loose like so. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to push this out of the way for the time being. And we're going to take one of our favorite tools in our toolbox, which is a wired coat hanger that we've untangled because it is kind of tricky to run this up into the engine bay. So we're going to take the wire coat hanger and there's a small opening that you can see when you're looking down at your truck and you're just going to push it up and as you push it up it's going to come up inside the engine bay like so so now we're going to take the wire the power and ground wire from our kit we made a little hook here in our coat hanger we're going to hook it around like that i'm just going to clamp down on this coat hanger so that the wire doesn't slip out of the coat hanger while I pull it through. But now that we've done that, we're just gonna pull the end of the coat hanger and that'll pull the wire out through the front marker housing. All right, so to power this kit, we're gonna be using these two wires coming from our front marker socket. What we're gonna need to do, if there's some protective you know, plastic covering or maybe some electrical tape that are uh, covering up these wires. You just take very carefully a box cutter or some kind of a knife or maybe some scissors and just cut back so that you can expose these wires a little bit more. So we went ahead and did that. And now we're gonna take the red power wire from the Raptor grill kit harness and slide it through the innermost channel of our easy quick splice connector. And then now we're gonna slide the green wire with an orange tracer into the other channel of our quick splice connector. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna take a set of pliers and just press down on this metal tab in the middle of the connector. Just give it some firm pressure till you feel it go in. Not too much though. You don't wanna to press too hard and sever the wires. And then when we've done that, we'll just throw this clip over it, clip it right into place like so. And then we'll do the same for the ground wire. Those exact same steps, slide our ground wire through the innermost channel, and then right over the ground wire from the front marker socket, and then 
take our pliers and push down on our metal tab. That's just essentially going to connect these two wires together. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to want to go ahead and test our kit. Um, we've already tested ours. We know it's lighting up. We're good to go. So what we're going to do is take our front marker assembly and then just line it back up, push those tabs into place. Now, once we've done that, we've got that locked back into place and good to go. All we have left to do is use the included zip ties just to zip tie our wiring harnesses up so that the wires aren't just moving freely allowed in the engine bay. All right, so that's all there is to installing this Raptor Grill Light Kit on your Ford Maverick truck. This kit's gonna add an amazing aesthetic upgrade to your truck while making it look a little more aggressive as well. It's also gonna help oncoming traffic be able to see you a lot easier at night, which will make you and your families a whole lot safer. You can check this kit out along with all of our other amazing custom LED products at f150leds.com. Thanks guys.